a great week. <laughs> so it's so funny. I thought of you last night. My sister texted me that she loves Lulu too. I'm like, geez, I didn't know all these people love Lulu. <laughs> well, I work out at, um, I do bar, you know, um, bar, uh, it's called bar centric, but it's isometric and all the girls there wear it. So I oh. just was like, when I first joined up four years ago, mm -hmm. I was just wearing regular leggings and and you, there's really a big difference, you know what I mean? And they're beautiful colors. And I so, know, there are, the stores are all over New York. They're, yeah, they're I love the brand. Very popular. Okay, tell me what you did today. I just got back, and I got a okay. bunch of nice emails, not just from you, but other people that Gyro had a nice call today. So Yes, he did, because we were looking at, uh, we were looking at two shorts. We were looking at RH. Mm -hmm. And we were also looking at SGH. Mm -hmm. The only thing that he didn't like about SGH was the fact that it was thin. And then he said RH looked like a good short, but he's traded it in the past, and sometimes it goes, and sometimes it can be tricky. Yeah, I see this here now. Wow, look at this. Jeez. Yeah. I mean, it did nothing but drop. I mean, even when it backed up a little bit, uh -huh. it, it had dropped in the pre-market, and it was right before... The market opened around nine o'clock. It was rallying a little bit, so he thought that was good. But it also had to come back down to where it was, and it okay, did. Okay, so where did you? Here, I'm, I have the one minute chart up. I'll say what I would have done after, but tell me what what did he call then? So he we looked to get in under one twelve, and he happened to miss it. So Ooh, he said under one twelve. Yeah, I see it. And I did. I got in at one twelve oh four. Did I get in? Uh. 112.04 I got in, and he wasn't in yet, uh -huh. but then what happened was he went in at like 11.50, so I was in, it was good, and then he said that the first target was probably going to be 10, he said 10, was it 108, 108, but it, it went down to 110, and it kind of hung there for a little bit, and I knew the market was, was a little bit on the strong side, uh -huh. so I said, you know what, I'm down two hours, I'm out. And that's what I did because I found the, the last couple of weeks, uh -huh. every time I waited for that final flush, mm -hmm. it either didn't come, it didn't. It, so, so I was just happy being green and two R's to me was a really good day. Yeah. Oh, you mean you were up two R's? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So where did he put the stop? He put the stop at 112.90. Wow. Or, that was aggressive. Yeah. Or one or one twelve sixty five. 65 and then, and then I crossed it out and I wrote 90 on it. Beautiful. Uh, wow. Nice call. Yeah. And, and if you look at it, it's still going. I mean, it got down into the I know. I mean, this is insane. I mean, actually, yeah. I didn't, you know, I wasn't here, so I didn't call any options on this, but this would have been a nice, I mean, look at the, where, the low of the day. It looks like you went to one, almost 102. That's insane. I, and it never reversed at noon. So, so yeah. it, you know, it was almost like what, we thought maybe Lulu would have done yesterday in reverse, of course. You know, just keep going. Well, no, what what I was hoping that FDX would do like a month ago or whatever, which just didn't, that didn't have any of the follow through to the short right. side I'm talking about. Yeah. And this seemed to have follow through, but, but, um, and then, you know, of course, the whole week was good for me. I mean, I didn't trade on Monday, mm -hmm. but, but Tuesday Gyro called, what time was it? Oh, I went, he had two different calls. I went BBBY long. That was hard. I, I saw that, though. Out. Yeah, I, I saw that. I stopped it out for a little bit. Mm -hmm. So that, but this, I was still positive. Mm -hmm. And then the uh, Wednesday, we did Len. Len was good on Wednesday. The The yeah. third trade was the best one on that. I'm glad that you did that. Yeah, this BBBY was hard, but you made money in the pop here. I did. Yeah. I did. And Len, Len, I did well on, and then of course Lulu, I, I did really well. I, I got out. Um, what I got yeah, that, in. that ended up being that, that 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 I ended up holding that, but it still got really strong. And even in here was an ad, but then, but then it. Oh no, back here it was, and it was in the morning after I closed out the room. This looked, this didn't add. It looked like it was going to go, and then it didn't. And luckily, right. luckily I had an exit on this because honestly, this then collapsed, which I was surprised. I was surprised well, that this collapsed, but it looked like it was going to go over the high here, and I thought I would get it to 172, but then. It didn't. And that, and that's why when I got out at, oh, what was it? I got out at 171.03. Yeah, that was which a good I exit. Think was almost to the high of the day. Yeah, that was a good exit in the morning. Yeah. And, and then I just thought that, um, 
I, you know, I was worried that it 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 had such a big rise in the pre market. I thought, you know, we were we you were you were so patient with that. I and, was. And it was really smart. It made me. It gave me even more conviction because I thought, did did it already go? Mm -hmm. Like, how are we gonna know that there's no there's no more for it to to, yeah. to rise? Yeah. And so when you were really patient with it, I mean, we gave it to the total of nine forty. Oh, that five, was a, five, uh, yeah. Five, I mean, I just was like, and then I, I felt really good about it. So I felt I, like I, being I very, very, very focused. You know, yeah. this. I mean, I, I, just right now, without it being earnings season. But I mean, even in earnings season, it's important to be focused. So, did you have you mm -hmm. backed off your risk a little bit, or you just been taking quick profits? I. A little bit of both. So Ben and I reconfigured my wrist because I, I, what I was doing was I was finding I was holding it too long, waiting for that flush. Mm -hmm. When I had been up, really green, and yeah. then, and then I thought, you know what? What Hector and Mimi are doing is a good thing, and it just, and that even helps build confidence. So, yeah. so by the end of last week, I was really like kind of down in the dumps, and then you gave a couple of lectures just about, you know, how you have to be positive and have positivity attracts more positivity to you. So I uh, so I went in this week with a whole new mindset. That's terrific. And you had a yeah. good week. Yeah. And it wasn't, any, I mean, you didn't even hold anything because really you could have, you could have taken another trade in RH or even, even held RH and you could have bar by barred it really. Let's see where, let me just see if this, well, yeah, you could have held it. If you bar by barred it, you could have got it down to 109 something. You could have got maybe another dollar because here right. you would have probably wanted to get out here. But who right. could have predicted this would go to 102 again? No. You know. No, you couldn't. And especially, I, I don't know what the Qs and the Spire are doing now. They're strong. But, you know, They're strong. I always so. seem to go back to that saying, okay, what's the market doing? Yeah. Market's strong. <laughs> and, and even though it shook around a little bit this morning, it looks like, I don't think... RH was a good gap, but then again, so was FDX. So, you, I mean, you say, well, why did this one work and this one didn't? That's why yeah. sometimes that sometimes things just don't work and there isn't an explanation, but that's why you got to pick and choose. I think if you are consistent, then you'll be fine. I think you had a good right. exit yesterday in Lulu. I wanted to hold yeah. it for a little bit more, which could have paid off. It didn't, but I still had a good day. But I mean, you got it's almost like if you decide you want to hold, then you have to either, maybe here's another idea. Again, earnings season, I think will just be a lot busier, but even next week, you could you could get out of three quarters of it and right. hold a little bit of it or something, which in today's case would have paid with RH. And if, if Lulu had gone to the crazy number I was thinking it might have, then that would have been the same scenario, like Costco. But it's better if they go fast. I don't know what to say. And then, then it seems like lately, if you hold them, the later it gets, it doesn't go. But That's like, right. but Len was like one of those ones where you say, "I'm so glad that I kept watching it because, yeah. you know, it had a huge." And even move. when you signed off, I was watching. I'm going, "Oh, look at this!" I know. I was. You know, about, and, and I know. then you called. You said, "Oh, get back in it," you know. And then it would hit <laughs> so fast. That I quick sent another trade because then I was like, well, people aren't even going to get this because it went. And that was the first one. And then I called the second one. But again, look at how that closed. I know. And the, and the great thing about that was I think it was picking up and the market was tanking. Because the, remember, we got stopped out of Lynn because the market really took a dive. And, yeah, that and was it was in the almost morning. like even though Lynn was kind of separate, it, it the I guess the, the pull of the market really pulled Lynn with it, you know, even yeah. though... So when when you when we went back in it and you saw that Len was going up, the market was going down. And then I said to myself, "Oh, see, it's go it's with it's without the market. It's strong all by itself." Yeah. So that was another sign that gave me conviction. So I think what was the other one? Let me just quickly look at what was the other one you looked at today, but that you didn't do. Uh, the other one we looked at was SGH. But he said that 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 was thin and that worried him. Did it work or it didn't? It, it? Initially, but no. I don't. Uh, looks like. Well, it, it this looks like it was it was thin. Yeah, it was thin here. Yeah. Yeah. So I mean, it worked, but it was thin. One. Yeah, it worked with thin. I would have been all over RH too. So I mean, and yeah. and uh, but he had a great entry in that. So that was that was great at that price point. So I'm so glad that yeah, it worked right. out. He and, and he also got out around 109, and he wanted to hold it to 107, and he said. Do you, and you know, I think we've all just seen the market do crazy things. Like if you set you, even in your letter, you said volatility. You know what I mean? Yeah. And so I try and keep that in my head because it's, it's, it's not your usual market. You know, it's almost yeah. like, even when the market went down in the beginning of the week, you're like, okay, there's no news. There's no. 
I and, know. You know, someone's going to be Trump tweeting or, or the word China comes up in news report. Well, things. that's still on tap for the next week. Did Ben did Ben do the market calls today on the options? Do you know if he did or I not? I don't know. He didn't do the Lulu because he gave me, he wanted me to try it. And I'm like, look, I don't read emails when, I, when, I'm, when I'm doing shorts. So yeah. either you have to text me something before it opens or so I, I didn't do. But, you know, I was happy because I did so well in the short. I don't yeah. know. Well, this um, well, it, I was gonna say the market, the market fell here, bounced, and but this is, I mean, I would hold this. I was just gonna tell you, say if he did do it, I would definitely okay. hold these into next week if he did them. Okay. You know, no matter. And we got an hour and a half left of the day. The market looks like it's gonna try to close green here, but the bounce that it had, this wasn't the move I expected today. But I think this could, this I probably call this early today, but I, but it's gonna be a good price for if this does the move that I think next week. So I think the market looks good, even though it wiggled and jiggled a lot in the last couple of days. All right, I'll tell him. So looking so, back, have you made like any differences besides getting out quicker, you're thinking, in the last month since I talked to you, or pretty much that's basically it? Um, you, you know, every every day I'm in here, I learn more and more. Mm -hmm. And that's why so we have a new we have a new scale system, you know, we have a new um risk system, Ben mm -hmm. wrote it down for me. Oh. And then but the only thing was I threw it out the window yesterday. Why? <laughs> Because so so if I followed his system, I would have only <laughs> taken seventy five shares of Lulu, and I'm uh -huh. like, you know, Lulu was really good to us in January. I made over a thousand dollars on Lulu. Uh -huh. I love the company, and when you gave us the the tutorial the night before, and you said if it gaps here, we're yeah. if we're good for short of it gaps, and I'm like, oh, I was watching. I watched it at four fifteen, Melissa. I, I know. I you emailed me. Yeah. <laughs> And that's why I emailed you about that. So I was, I was really, I, I felt really strongly about Lulu yesterday. Yeah. But, um, oh, no, so here I, was the January one. That was the one, yeah, there it was. January that was the January. 14th. Yeah. And that long in it then, too. And I think they upgraded the stock. It wasn't even earnings. Yeah, I don't remember. It, yeah. Yeah. And I think it went up two hours or so, or, you know, or I got And I called hours. an option on that, too, and that took off like a rocket. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So, but I am trying to behave. You know, I found that when I was, I really made a lot of money in January and it kind of made me uh, a, li a little reckless, maybe. You, think you know, so? I was I was getting in big, bigger than I should have. So now I'm just trying to, I, I'm just trying to be positive, mm -hmm. like do like a Hector, you know, smaller's good, yeah. positive, always good. Well, you were, you, know, you were doing really well. I mean, when earnings season starts again in the next week or so, I mean, I, you know, you can, you can, you can trade, you can do bigger size because you did well with it. I don't know really what happened okay. or if it was just, it was just a rough month for shorts. I think it was a combination of yeah. that, you know, for the, for the month of at one point in February and the beginning of March, it was just, it was just a period where shorts weren't having the follow through, but I don't feel like that's the case now. I mean, obviously look at, you know, RH today, but I would say that, um, you know, if you're, if you're gonna, if you're gonna keep what you have in the sizing fine then keep it until, you know, Memorial day and see right. how you do. But I mean, you know, maybe you just, you know, maybe you just got two, uh, I don't want to aggressive. say too confident because that's, there's not there's nothing like you can't have too much confidence. But, but too aggressive, like too, I yeah. think. I, you know, like I always felt like I, you know, it's like when somebody's at the roulette table. I'm not that yeah. I play roulette, but it's almost like you know that you think you can't lose, and you know, and it happens. I know, it, it but just... I think like that too. So there's really <laughs> it's hard for me to tell you not to think that because I I never take a trade that I think is gonna lose. I just don't. No. So you know. I feel well, like I have, we have I can got move you it. And Len, when, when, we, when we got stopped out, you go, that's it, I'm done. And then you're like, eh. I know. I know. Open, you see what you see and you know what you know. And I like, know. I knew it was going to work and I it's going to work. I know. <laughs> I know. And you just get, but for that, in that one split second, you get frustrated and then you're like, I knew it, you know. Yeah. And it's the same thing even, I mean, let's look at this FDX. I mean, this is this was just the most ridiculous thing. I don't even know it what was. it's doing right now. But I honestly, I, this has a drop in it. That's going to be Megalodon whenever it happens. Why that yeah. didn't happen on the earnings, I don't know. But let's just look at here with this one. I have a feeling, and, uh, you know, I was going to run it by you, see what you think. I think no. the market is so strong mm -hmm. that that a short really has to be convinced of itself to have that huge drop off. Yeah. You know, I don't mm -hmm. know if that's true, and I don't know if it's just, you know, but. But I mean, the, I, I guess the, for the. For the day into four, you might be correct, except for the fact that, like, 
if we can get a big move quick, then that's all that we need, like with DSW. Like DSW yeah. was a good morning move. That did not follow through into four. It did follow through on the chart, on the day chart, but that was one where there was, there was enough there in the morning to make money in it fast, but that right. didn't have the follow through into four o'clock either. Now it did, it, it just kind of died actually in the, in the afternoon period. That, that was the one in here, but then it, yeah. then it did drop. But it's almost like either it's one of two things, either they're falling quick and hard and we get them aggressively when they do, or they bleed like the RH Right. <laughs> but I think that that has been selective, like you said, um, you know, in reference to that. But then there was the other day, I don't know, a couple of days ago, the market fell off a planet and there wasn't any good shorts. That was the day that we did that we did lend, wasn't it? The market was market yes. was falling and we, we went long. So I don't even know. I mean, it's, you know, it's just really about the quality, I think, of the gap. If the gap rate's good then it's good and if it and if it doesn't it doesn't and some have been borderline when then you're looking for things to do and that's why i'm kind of like as far as how many things i'm going to do in a day people give me ideas and i try to stick with the one thing because all of a sudden you're looking at three things and you're like do i really want to do three things today because no you know no like you said i have to be on top of it i you know you just and, and you were and like that's where you with, with lulu you were so focused yeah you really were and that's important because like you said, I mean, it took a while for it to work, but you're like, did it, all, did it, did the pre-market, was that it? Was that the only move it's going to have? I know, you that's know? why I was watching it, watching it yeah. and see. But anyways, if he didn't do that option, he could, he could still do that today and get a better price if he didn't do it. Now, as far as the market goes, if he did it, he can hang, hang with it into next week. If he didn't do Lulu, <laughs> he can pass, but I still think Lulu makes a lift. If he didn't, yeah, you know. Jairo was saying that he thinks that, the lift that it had almost shocked it, mm -hmm. and now it's just got to get used to being up there. That's right. what he's. Something. Oh, that was good explanation. Yeah. He, he, yeah, it makes a lot of sense. Yeah. <laughs> well, great. I'm glad you're doing well, and I hope that Me you have too. a big April like you did in January. And so yeah. we'll see. And uh, I, I mean, you sound very organized now with all of that, you know, with all that you're doing. So that's good. Yes, and it's funny because I talk at the table and the kids like look at me and roll my eyes. <laughs> no, no, no. Here she goes. What you talk about what trades you did that day or what? Oh, or like or the one that I noticed or one that I saw or earnings. This is earnings and it's got you know and, and, that and is Ben hilarious. cracks up. And all the kids just like, Oh, there there goes mom. <laughs> well, at least Ben's interested in it. Yeah, no, it's, he got me interested in it, so he yeah. created a monster. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, well, I'm well, glad you're doing you, well. Lisa. All right. Well, it's good you were in today because you're not always in on the Friday. So that worked out for you. I know. Uh, the doctor that I work with, he's uh, at a conference in San Diego. So I was so excited because you know, Friday's usually exciting. Perfect. <laughs> well, how much How much did you end up making then today in Red Hat? Um, I, I, I made... Uh, or not I Red made, Hat, Restoration Hardware. Sorry. Yeah. That's right. $314. I, right, only, I only took 200 shares. Okay. And, yeah, I, that's and I let it drop two R's. So yeah, so I'm happy. Yeah, so I made eight hundred and eleven for the week. So I'm happy. That's good. That's great. Yeah. That's fabulous. Right. And you could have taken more of this. So but I mean I don't think there's anything wrong with being you being careful and and in size until earning season. Right. Yeah. Yeah, I, and I just think that the, like I need my confidence back. So, mm -hmm. you know, another week of maybe just easy dozen it and, and like I still I still there's certain ones that give me a feel, just like Lulu gave me a feel this was going to work. Yeah. You know? yeah. Yeah. Well, go with it. That's what I say. Go with it. Yeah. Instinct. <laughs> yeah. Intuition. All right. Uh, well, have yeah, a great... And you had a great week, 